Hey everybody, Thomas here. <laughs> Take a look at this. How about this? The day before the sawmill show here in Loosedale, Mississippi at our farm, my sawmill is in at parade rest. We just sheared off a bolt here. This is the bolt that holds on the idler pulley. And yeah, sheared it completely off because it's 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 a bolt, but really it's it's welded on into this recessed section right here. But it just so happens that one of the individuals who's coming tomorrow, who's actually going to bring his mill now, because unfortunately Joby can't make it, so I called some other people around, and, and Mr. Um, Gunn is going to be able to make it, and he's going to be bringing the sawmill. Well, Mr. Gunn, if I'm not mistaken, builds race cars. He, he's, a, he's a master welder. That's all I want to say. He's a master welder. So long story short, I said, Mr. Gunn, do you mind if I bring this over to you? He lives just a few miles on the road. Can I bring this over to you? Can you help me fix this up so we can have this running for tomorrow's event? He said, sure, come on up. So here in a second, we're going out there. We will get this mill up and running for y'all to see this tomorrow. But we will have now a few more mills. We're actually going to have, um, we lost one, but we gained two. So as you can see out here, and I know it's windy. I'm trying to not get it where it's too loud and everything. Uh, Neil's 1600. So my buddy Neil's going to be bringing his 1600 mill. We might set it up either underneath this tree here or this section right here I haven't decided yet mr. gun will probably set up over there on that side we'll kind of have like a u-shape or an l shape of sawmills actually it's gonna be a u-shape because I'm gonna set up mr. Jack right here this uh, where you see these cross tires right here and that one hickory log on top mr. Jack's gonna be bringing his Peterson slabber and swing blade mill so he's got a slab attachment that goes onto his swing blade mill, but he's gonna be bringing that and we're gonna cut up some hickory and stuff like that. Here's some other logs here. Mr. Gunn is bringing a woodland mills. Yeah, it's a woodland mills. That's what it is. <laughs> I was trying to think. Um, <clears throat> anyway, long story short, I'll, I'll probably still even have a little fire going tomorrow. That'll be a good little you know piece for you know kids to play with. Just don't get burnt too bad. Um, as you can see, the bathroom is over there. As soon as you come through the gate and everything, on the entire south side of the property from the driveway over we're gonna have three rows of parking there so my truck is actually oriented the wrong direction but tomorrow morning we're gonna have some other vehicles already set up out there in the kind of pattern we're trying to have people park they're gonna be parking starting at the house and moving this way once this area fills up with parking if we get to that situation I have multiple areas behind the house I'm not gonna go back there right now but I have you can see way back there but I have a whole lot of stuff back there uh, for additional parking we should have ample parking and if we really really need to we could also move some other vehicles maybe in, in this section over here uh, on the other side of this tree whenever you come in tomorrow <clears throat> it's going to be a fun event um, we do have water and such for people so we have all these tables set up underneath this live oak tree and we're going to have all over the place I'm going to have pieces of wood that are for sale. Some of them will be marked, some of them won't be marked, but we can work out prices and stuff like that. But I'm going to try to get everything marked as best I can. Underneath this tree section right here, which is a beautiful, you know, shaded area and everything, uh, we're going to set up some tables here. So if people have things to sell, I know Mr. Robert, Miss Diane are going to have some of their spoons and spatulas for sale. We'll have our water that we're giving out to people. I think there, someone's going to bring some soft drinks that'll be on sale and stuff like that. But we're going to have a myriad of different things. Also, at this table right here, we're going to have a sign-up sheet. So when you come in, when you're walking back over towards the Samos, please stop by here, sign in. We're going to have a, a piece of paper there that'll say what your, what your name is, kind of where you came from, because I need to know who drove the furthest. So make sure you write on there where you came from, and we can kind of figure up on there. Uh, so state and city that should be that should be good so name where you came from and if you are a subscriber to the channel what your youtube name is what your name is on the youtube channel because you are entered into a secondary or a, a pot of people uh for a drawing for the uh, table so we'll or a bench excuse me um there will be other giveaways throughout the day we'll have a whole lot of stuff out here we got a sleeping puppy underneath there she's passed out but these are some rough mantles that i will have for sale here's some pecan slabs where my gooseneck trailer is i will have slabs on that around that and then in our carport i'll have a whole lot of slabs in there that i don't want to put into the sunlight and stuff like that and then i've already started putting slabs over there next to the shop mr robert sharpener setter over there so we'll we'll get that all set up but we have 
a lot of stuff going on tomorrow. We're going to have Mr. Robert doing his sharpening and setting. We will have four sawmills out here, like I said. Let me tuck in around behind this wind and everything. But we're going to have four sawmills out here. Uh, I will have balloons out on the road as well. But we're going to have the four sawmills out here. We've got these bigger logs to cut up. I'm not going to tell you what the far log is. But once you open, once we open that up and you see that color, it's going to blow people's mind. Because I cut, I cut the top section of it yesterday. And yeah, and those slabs will all be for sale. Um, the one next to it's ash. The one on the front there is black walnut. We got some black walnut, ash, cherry, pecan. This is going to be hickory. Uh, we've got some cedar. I've got and a good example of how to quarter saw wood. I had a quarter saw wood, excuse me. Um, <clears throat> and then we'll we'll show you what that looks like. And then we're going to just have all these random smaller pieces. Really, if if you want to see something cut, you can write in the comments here or just tell me tomorrow what do you want to see cut. We're going to be cutting up, uh, I know we're going to probably cut up a cherry log from start to finish and make it into a mantle from start to finish. Um, it's, it's quick and easy, and I'm going to show you the process that I use, and I've had very good results with it. But we're going to have a fantastic time, folks. I think you are really going to have a good time out here. Bring your kids, because if you also saw, we have the little jungle gym area set up here, and I've got a little more cleaning up to do. But uh, we have all this area right here where I'll, I'll have where kids can play and, and hang out. Uh, underneath the shade um, it's gonna be a great time again we've got water available for y'all there will be some cokes and stuff that people will have we may even have some snacks and stuff like that uh, for a, a small fee or something like that just to cover the cost of what they were but again very much looking forward to meeting everyone tomorrow this will be our last event down here in Loosedale. it's gonna be very kind of uh, sad and everything but I'm hoping that other Sawyers in the area who come to this event might carry on this tradition. So we've done two here. We've done, you know, one last year. We were doing, doing this one this year. We've also done two up in Tennessee. This is our fourth sawmill event, and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Hope you enjoy it. If you have anything you want to talk about tomorrow, please let us know. We'll talk about it. We've got Neil, Robert, Mr. Gunn, Mr. Jack Hudson. Uh, we have people who have been running sawmills for a while. We have people who have been running sawmills for a short period. We're going to have manual mills. We're going to have fully hydraulic mills. We're going to have swing blade mills. We're going to have slabber mills. We're going to have a myriad of stuff here. It's a great time to learn and just to give back to the community because there's going to be a lot of people that are going to see all these cars out here. They're just going to pull right on in and not know what's going on. They're like, oh, sawmill, wood, pretty cool. Let's, let's talk about it. So look forward to meeting everybody tomorrow. Please drive safe. Uh, be safe. The weather's looking pretty good. There's like a 30% chance of rain, but same today. We could have a pop-up here and there, but we have plenty of areas covered to get people out of the way. So, very much looking forward to seeing y'all. Have fun. Be safe. See you around. Thanks.